to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. It's day two of NAM. This is the Changing Stage radio show, powered by WS Radio Networks and brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental and Pitbull Audio, where you can get the best gear at the best prices. And this show has been a tremendous show for us. We had a great day one yesterday. We were talking to people about the music business all day long, and that's just an amazing, fun time for us because that's what we do around here, talk about the music business. We had some some great guests. We had Stephen Slate from Slate Digital. Uh, we had Giles Orford from Focusrite. So we, we were just, you know, we, we, we had uh, just a ton of great people. But, you know, today, day two, is just as exciting. In fact, we've got a, a tremendous guest here. Uh, he is a product manager over at uh, Personas. So, Justin, introduce yourself. Justin Spence. Hey, everybody. This is Justin uh, with Personas. I'm actually the production manager over at Personas, which means I do anything I need or anything that they ask me to get done, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, from sweeping to riding a forklift to giving product demonstrations, to walking on trust, to running sound, whatever it takes. Man. Renaissance man. Whatever it takes. It takes a big man to do that, literally, figuratively. I'm and, literally, literally and figuratively large and in charge. <laughs> in fact, uh, off topic, uh, last night I ate a five-pound burrito. Oh, damn. I ate the whole thing. I got a T-shirt and everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. You get a pound for that, I'm man. I'm going to get a pound for that. You're going to get a pound for that. That is awesome. Well... You know, Justin, uh, Personas is uh, really near and dear to our hearts because we Thank use you. we use the RM32 AI system for uh, we're going to be doing a live broadcast show called Radio Band Diego, where we're going to basically record bands, multi-track them right as they're coming in, broadcast them live, and also give them a live recording of their session with us. So that's going to be a beautiful. That's thing. awesome. We plug it right into a, a uh, PC, and it's a good thing. So. There's so many products that you guys offer, so let's kind of talk. Let's kind of backtrack a little bit, because we I could talk all day long about the one I <laughs> we use. Tell us, you guys are here at the Nam Show, right? You've got some great products. What is new on the horizon for you guys? So we have a bunch of things that we're showing here, and I'll just give a shout out. We're in Hall B at 50 uh, booth 5700. Okay. Um, and we're showing several different new technologies in the booth. Interestingly enough. We have a new thing called our mix systems. We have a 48 and a 64 mix system. Okay. And it's, uh, you can take and physically link uh, the 2442 AI mixers okay. and then, or the 3242 AI mixers to make these systems. And when you buy them, you get everything you need to link them together. You get the cover. You get wow. a PRM1 microphone, which is like an RTA mic, so okay. you can tune your room because you have built-in smart with the software and everything. Now, now again, i got to get personal. Is are, are we able to tune the room? Did you come up with the software yet for the... Uh, uh, for the, uh, the RM stuff? It, it's so close. I don't want to give you a date, but that's <laughs> that's a thing that we're definitely looking into because it was it's such a cool feature that we have on our mixer, the AI consoles. Oh, it's, wow. a, it's just it's become a necessity, so it's definitely not something that's going to get left out. You know? Dude, you got to call me when it right comes out. <laughs> You'll be first on the list for sure. <laughs> and you're, you you guys are using the rack mixer. It's interesting to see you know broadcast is adopting the rack mixer, and our touring bands. We have a bunch of guys. Uh, that are out there on the road with it now, and and even we have a band, and they're visiting us uh, tomorrow. Uh, okay. The band Nothing More, they're on a world tour right now with I the rest with the, the same yeah, yeah with yeah. the same mixer you guys are using, yeah. and uh, they love it. They're playing backing tracks with it. They're plugging uh, their band in. They've got their ears, their okay. wireless ears yeah, yeah. through it. So it's a it's a really interesting system, uh, in in the way that people are using them. I, I see more and more creative ways of get, using this thing. You know, like with broadcast guys and with bands that are on the road yeah. and and just. Even smaller bands are using it in very, very interesting ways. Well, that's very cool. So you're, you've shown this new software that's adopting it. Now, I noticed there's a new interface as well. Is that We have the iSeries interfaces, yeah. which are really cool. We have the i1 and the i2, and then we have the i2 Studio, which is a bundle. Okay. And it's, it's really hot, I guess, because 
like like me, like a lot of people, like I like to get a lot of things in the one box, you know. Yeah. I like to, you know, just plug in everything that's in the box and just go. And that's cool to have the uh, the i one or the, excuse me, the i two studio. You get your microphones, you get your headphones, you get the interface. You just add a uh, you know, computer and talent, and then rock out, you know. Um, so that's doing very well. What's interesting with it is it records directly to your iPad, so you okay. can be. Uh, you can be out and about yeah. and get your ideas down or do something on location. Yeah. And then you can just, what you recorded to your iPad, you can wirelessly stream it to Studio One over your network at home. And then you can start getting into the full-on production of your idea. That, that's awesome. So, I mean, these are all the big mixers, but you guys have a lot. You've got a wide array of different products. So many, so many products. Let's we talk have, about I mean, the ones that you guys are kind of highlighting featuring here. Um, definitely the i1 and the i2, the i series, uh, you know, with its uh, capability to record to the iOS uh, device, uh, is a big deal here at uh, NAM 2015. We're, I mean, we have the audio box line, we have the creation suite, which is very interesting. I, I was told this uh, a couple of days ago. Hey, we're going to give them away. So every show we're doing in our booth, we're giving away a creation suite, which has a 49 key keyboard, a USB hub, Does that an mean us? interface. I mean, come by the booth, man. I give the nod, and you, you know, you, you just, just become a winner. You know we, what I'm saying? We, 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 hey, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're definitely on our way there, sure. Yeah. So it's everything. It's it's another bundle, which is really cool. Bundles are really picking up, and I think they're really cool because they have everything you need to get your idea into your computer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are like interface-wise, that's that's kind of a highlight here at the booth, and then for sure rack mixers, and we've added filter groups to the. Uh, rack mixers which is a really big deal and and the way that our product managers really they really thought it out and it's super intuitive to use i uh, was very uh I mean, it's a it's a really pro feature, yeah. um, but everyone is you know from the beginner all the way up to the you know band on tour around the world is using this uh, piece of equipment and, and and to keep it you know straightforward and streamlined for anyone to be able to use it was definitely the way yeah, to yeah. It, you know get that into the mix. Now now the history uh, and kind of you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the the gentleman who started the company, Jim this, Odom, yeah, yeah, he just fa- basically felt that there needed to be something better, and he just went out there. Tell us a bit about the the history and how that all came about, because I love the interfaces. That's what sold me on it. The, the interface is so easy to, to to maneuver and navigate. So we're uh, we're from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, Jim and Jim Odom and Brian Smith were uh, LSU, uh, you know, double E grads, okay. and they so just super talented smart dudes and they saw the need they we needed quality products that were affordable uh, the first product was our DCP8 it was a single rack space eight channel gate compressor it was a digital control over analog wow. voltage we held a patent to that it's really interesting stuff um, it's awesome they made it for the remember the analog a bus the Mackie analog yeah, a bus yeah, 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 yeah. you can get a couple of those and basically have an inexpensive SSL. You know, you had gate compressors, you have the routing, you know, and you have mix B, so it'd be an inline console. It's really for, you know, affordable. Um, it did very well, but it didn't have enough knobs on the front of it. So we, we made it's uh, we made the ACP8, okay. which was basically the same thing, but it was it had real knobs on the front, so you could tweak it. This one was kind of like an LCD screen that you'd tweak. Um, and so we started in Baton Rouge in a small furniture store we shared, and then we moved to our bigger complex down the road, and then we just actually moved to a specifically designed for us building, which was amazing. We got a sweet studio and a sweet live room, and we've got tons of space, and it's just a really creative space where we're working on really interesting stuff, all of which we're showing here at NAM. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, I think John, didn't John Stork design the, the live room? Uh, yeah, I like to na- I like to drop that name. I'm like, yeah, you heard of John Stork? Yeah, he designed the room. No big deal. It's 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 great, man. It looks great. It sounds great. Everything that we've recorded in there is just top notch. What's it, what's cool is uh, because we manufacture. Uh, the ADL 700. It's yeah. all tube front end in our studio. Wow. So we have 18 channels of ADL tube, and then it hits our uh, console, the uh, 3242 AI, and it goes right into Studio One there. And it just, it just makes it sound so cool, man. Now what? You, uh, I'm trying to remember. There were a couple of groups. I met you guys over at AES, and that's kind of okay. how all this kind of came about. Uh, there were a couple of groups that were recording there at that time, or were going to record. So who's been recording over there? So we had a local favorite, Chris LeBlanc, who has played many NAMs and many music messes, a lot of trade shows with us, and he's just a local legend. He's an amazing vocalist, an amazing guitar player. 
we recorded him and Brianna Tyson, who's done a lot of stuff with us. Uh, we had Reba McIntyre's band, and Reba couldn't make it because she, you know, was That's doing who, stuff. That was we, who was supposed to be coming out. Yeah, we had that big show, that big country show we have in uh, Baton Rouge, and they came out. And let me tell you, those guys were on point. We just turned the mics on and pointed them in the right direction, mm-hmm. and they just made a hit, and it was so fun. Um, and we had a couple yeah. of great, talented local Louisiana artists. So we've been doing the local flavor, and then a lot of our, its primary function is for testing and 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 our personas artists, and um, you know just to you know do our videos and things like that. And it's worked out very well for us. It's great to have that space. Very cool. So. With all these different things, we got about a minute left, a little less than a minute. Tell me, what's the message that uh, Personas wants to kind of drive home today or in the, well, throughout the show? What, what, what Active integration mean? would be the way. So we have our uh, consoles that are AI, and we have our rack mixers that are AI. We recently introduced the connectivity of AVB. Okay. So um, you can you can have a console at front of house, you can have a rack mixer on the stage, and you can connect them with an Ethernet cable. And it's point to point. It's easy to do. It turns it into a, a very intelligent stage box. And that's that's one of the things that we want to drive home. The mix systems, you can have you know almost 70 channels for less than seven thousand bucks. You know you can't even buy an analog console and this is a digital console that does everything you need it to do with recording included so those are our major things and and don't forget our interfaces and our preamps and come by the booth check us out at 5700 and Hobby. we're we're definitely on our way there because this to me i you know i was sold when i seen it at as and uh you know we were definitely ready there so we are finishing up our first segment of day two the nam show this is florentino Changing Stage Radio Show, powered by WS Radio Networks, brought to you by SIR and Pitbull Audio. Uh, thanks, Justin Spence. Thanks for having Personas. us. Uh, we'll be coming back in a few short minutes. Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. Meet Profit Bandit, the best way to find new Amazon inventory using only your smartphone. Scan any barcode and in less than five seconds, Profit Bandit shows you Amazon sales rank, competing offers, whether Amazon selling the item, who has the buy box, your potential Amazon profit, and more. Customizable settings allow you to calculate FBA or MFN profit down to the penny. Available for iPhone and Android, and your satisfaction is guaranteed. Visit SellerEngine.com forward slash Ask Janelle for a special offer. On the Internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5, star, rep, marketing.com. I have some good news for a change. With the stressful times upon us, having a regular glass of wine has proved in many studies to reduce stress. Want some more stress-relieving tips? VinVillage.com is an exciting new social organization connecting wine lovers around the country with an exclusive local and online wine lifestyle experience. Vin Village members can meet others online and in person, attend wine dinners and tastings, participate in forums, blogs, and wikis, purchase limited and exclusive wines, even create your own wine. You heard me, create your own wine. And best yet, membership is free. So reduce some of the stress and have some fun. Join now and connect with thousands of other like-minded wine lovers. To learn more, go to VinVillage.com. That's www.VinVillage.com. VinVillage is where wine lovers connect. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. 
Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. All righty, righty, righty. We're back for this Changing Stage radio show, the second segment of day two at NAM. We are just rocking it out here, and this is a, a great time that we're having. Uh, we just had Justin from Personas giving us all about the gear that they have over there. Make sure you go to personas.com. And then we have Noah Kraft. Noah Kraft is here from Doppler Labs, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how we can save our ears as well as be able to listen while we're on stage. So, Noah, say hello to everybody. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm going to have you kind of come up a little closer. There we go. Great. There we go. Now you sound like the voice of God. There you go. So, Noah, you guys, you know, you guys sent me a press release, and I thought it was the coolest thing. Thanks. Uh, because, well, for one, Paul, my producer, uh, he, we have the, we have a, we play in a band as well, and awesome. we have this powerful drummer that just, we call him the Kraken. I'm, I'm one of those. I'm a drummer. Uh, okay, so <laughs> he's just like, you know, we need that feel for the audience, but it kills us. But when we when we use other uh, earphones, it, you lose everything. Yeah. So you guys got something very special. So tell us a bit about the company. What brought you here to NAM, and some of the the cool things that you guys are showing off. Well, first, thanks for having me. Um, the company's Doppler Labs, and our product are Dubs Acoustic Filters. Okay. And the whole idea behind them is. We're musicians, we're engineers. My co-founder ran Acoustics at Sonos. Okay. So you're one of the founders? Yeah, I'm the CEO and co-founder. Oh, okay. We didn't get a chance to, you know, I met you through Lindsay, so I was like, she was going to see who was going to be available. So that's No, awesome. happy to be here, yeah. So so basically, we uh, we looked at the industry and we said, look, why don't people wear hearing protection? And it's exactly what you said. It either doesn't feel good, but more generally, it's because it doesn't sound good or it doesn't look good. Yeah, you lose the... the oh. Exactly. And so with Doves, what we did is we created a aesthetically pleasing earplug, but more importantly, what it does is it bring down, brings down the volume while maintaining sonic fidelity. Okay. So what we were able to do is pack 17 parts into that little thing. Wow. Two low-pass filters, one high-pass filter. So it actually pre-tunes the sound so you hear what you want to hear. It's basically like turning down the volume knob instead of muffling the whole experience. Wow, okay. Yes. That, that's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So... What insp- you know, I'm, you're, you mentioned you're a drummer. I'm a drummer, yeah. That's, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's sort of So how did you jump into all of this fun stuff? So, uh, you know, as it really came from the question. There were a few of us sitting around, and we said, why don't we wear earplugs? Like, yeah. And exactly what I said, what you get as a response is, you know, who likes orange foam sticking out of their ears, right? Yeah. And yeah. also, especially if you think about kind of the culture of today where you're spending a ton of money to go to these festivals, right? You're spending a ton of money to go to these festivals. They're yeah, three, yeah. four days. The ear fatigue's remarkable, but people still won't use the earplugs because you've spent this money to hear the music, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And also to look good, right? Yeah, yeah. And so what we did is we said, look, can we actually create something that is a better earplug? And Dan is really the you know mad scientist behind it and said, yeah, I can't believe no one's ever done this. We can basically apply advanced acoustical physics, okay. stuff that comes in much more complex packages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you know, designs transducers and sonar systems and stuff like that. He said, there's no reason we can't use a passive filter system that's much better than the straight pass-through. It's going to cost a little more. Okay. But we use premium materials. We'll actually have a much better acoustical experience. So the response we're getting with the dubs is overwhelming because people put them in first thing, say they're discreet, they feel good, but more importantly, I hear what I want to hear. And that's that's what we're going for. And, that, and I think that's great. So here's probably the best question for everybody. Yeah. Now that we know that there are uh, earplugs out there that's going to give you the sound that you want without having to you know take away that feeling but also save your ears where can they get them we're we're expanding really quickly so we've only been around for four months oh, but we're right. already in 400 best buys which we were really happy about wow, that's a big one yeah I mean, it was big on that one, bro. Yeah. best buy is a hard nut yeah. to crack but it's it was it was but at the same time they really believed in what we were doing right yeah, it's yeah. a technology it's not digital but it's a technology it is yeah. and so 
we we're in Best Buy. We're on Amazon. You can find us on our website at getdubs.com. And right now we're also starting to you know really work on partnering with the people because for us. It's great to walk into a Best Buy and find this, but yeah. it's also really important to get it where it's loud. Yeah. So right now in the process of really making sure that we are tapping into all the places where yeah, yeah. it really is loud, right? Festivals, venues, etc. Yeah, yeah. So t- obviously at this show, NAM is, if you folks aren't aware, is all about connecting uh, retail companies with the manufacturers. Absolutely. So how's the show going for you guys so it's far? It's going... The I think the so first thing we're we're in the drum section yeah. so it's perfect because all these people walk right through all the drums Again, and all the symbols. The, like, <laughs> thing, thing. the drum only a drummer so, would think about that, right? So so we're like next to Sabian, right, and yeah. Zildjian, and and you walk right through, and then you hit us, and we say, look, most people who are selling earplugs are just selling something that blocks things out, and yeah, so by yeah. the time you get through, and these people, you know, your ears are ringing. You put in our product, you walk back through, it's a totally different experience. So the show's been wonderful because we're just getting embraced by the community, and they love the fact that we really care about music, right? We're the people who go there and say, hearing protection is something that we all need to deal with because loud noise makes you go deaf. It's just a a fact. And there's no reason it shouldn't be something that detracts. You, You should be able to be fully immersed in that musical experience while still being able to turn it down. I think I got your big customer right back of me right here, Paul. Really want to try these out. That's always a big issue for me to yeah. hear the details and the subtlety and what's going on without, yeah. you know, killing yourself. Yeah, that's what we're going for. And this is just the start. We're really excited about, you know, kind of jumping into the space and trying to provide, you know, the real, we call them the road warriors. We all know them, right? The yeah. guys who are always in loud environments, the A&Rs, the roadies, the photographers, the musicians, they need a good option. And also, if you think about what's out there, you have the foam mm-hmm. and then molded are 200 bucks, right? And we think our acoustics hold up or, or if not, are better than the molded. And the fit's just as good, and they're $25, right? It's the okay, type of so thing. that was my next question. It's a huge difference, right? We uh, want this to be a consumer product that you can grab on the go, throw in your ears, and still have a great time. Yeah, if you get the $3 set, you're going to get $3 worth of quality, <laughs> right? Amen. But in $25, it sounds like you're going to get $200 worth of quality. That's exactly right. We, you know, It was a big debate internally. There were definitely people on my team who were like, we could charge more for this. And I said, you know, I'd much rather have it in more ears and have it more people in, yeah. in appreciating this than charge more and have a few more, you know, higher end people pick it up now uh or have you made any ground and you said best buy uh, yeah uh, what about music stores because yeah we're in guitar center okay, uh right we're in nordstrom's we're on nordstrom's. amazon <laughs> yeah they, they that's, that's, that's it, kind of it, random it was random but they love the aesthetic so we actually have a lot of design people coming to us who are like this is just a beautiful product and we tried to design a beautiful okay. product it's really music forward but we are getting interest we're in soul cycle right the spin classes huh. because it's really loud there and they're really beautiful and they were handing out yellow foam earplugs and they got wind of us and they said this is so much better what you know we want people to hear the music so we're getting inbound from you know we're talking to airlines right yeah, it's yeah. really loud on airplanes so we're really interested in you know any place that's loud we want to play in music is our home though oh that's awesome yeah so now how'd you come up with the name dubs that's that's kind of it's, it's a great to me, question I'm, I'm thinking of 20s on somebody's you know low yeah, rider. Yeah. <laughs> we you know it, it definitely comes up sometimes frankly it's it's a few fun things i love the word it has DBs in it, right? Yeah. DBS, right? Yeah, yeah. It's buds backwards. Okay. Right? Yeah, so yeah. there's some fun things in there. And so it, it, it kind of naturally evolved. We had played around with some other names, and when I came up with dubs, it was just kind of like, that's perfect. It's It has music reference, right? A lot yeah, of our yeah. consumer base right now is a lot of EDM, you yeah, know, yeah, centric. Yeah. And obviously dubs, dubstep has a real reference yeah, yeah. there. But the fact that it was buds backwards and also has DBs in there, <laughs> we, we just, we think it's very, fun. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, what are some of the next steps? I mean, you know, now that you've kind of defined the the state of the art for, for earplugs, Thanks. where are you guys going now? We're going to keep innovating. So the filter system we have in dubs acoustic filters, we actually can augment it a lot for specific use cases because yeah. it's a pre-tuned system. So we're right now working on different filter systems and also producing a second line that will have, you know, use case specific scenarios. And the other thing is we have some big announcements coming up. We're partnering with some major festivals, okay. really making sure it's our goal to make hearing protection really accessible and also cool. And so it's really important for us in the spring and in the summer, especially as these big festivals come through, to really make sure we get in there. So we have some big announcements coming out that we're excited about. Now, I've got a question. I, maybe I'm going to give you an idea. I don't know if you, or maybe you already thought about it. Have you ever thought about, or is there makes sense to create a, a, a earplug for s- different types of music? Because you mentioned EDM. Yeah, so, so we think about that all the time, right? You Certain music, 
if you even take a step back and just take it out of the music a little bit, think about NASCAR, right? Yeah. It's a very different sonic signature oh, than yeah. a show, right? Yeah, yeah. But both need hearing protection. So with our filters, because we can do different combinations, we can let in more lows, more mids, or more highs. Okay. We can actually pre-tune an airplane. This is where we're going. We're going to really start creating filters that are specific. And yeah, we can go genre specific. That's probably farther down the road. But a music earplug really should be, there's there's an equal loudness curve. Yeah, That's yeah. kind of what your ear wants to hear. Yeah. That's what we stick to. But you you don't need to hear the engine in NASCAR as much as you want to hear the person sitting next to you. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's ways in which we can really tune these things to make them specific, and that's that's we're having fun with that. that it's so interesting that there's so many different applications that you mentioned because you know you come from the music business. And yeah. You think music only, right? But uh, it's 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 an amazing. amazing oh, we experience. we get some of the fun. Like we get people writing in like. I'm in an open plan office, and the guy across from me just won't shut up. Like, I love your product because I just can tune him out, but I can still hear enough. And we're like, hey, if it works for you, like, love it. I could totally, you should market it to the married crowd for those with the snoring people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think that would work. So, you know, we've got about a minute left. Yeah. And tell me, you know, I think you've alluded to it quite a bit. What do you want? the attendees here to kind of come away with uh, what's the messaging that you want to kind of get across music's amazing that's where it starts and just because something's too loud doesn't mean you can't ex you know experience it fully and what we want people to do is embrace the fact that hearing protection is something we all need like 50 years ago people didn't wear sunscreen right yeah and we found out <laughs> later yeah. there's a reason you need to wear sunscreen right and our goal we don't want people people are going deaf way too young and i'm a absolute music lover and the idea that you know in my 40s or 50s i might start losing some of that yeah. you got to start prepping now so our message is there's no reason hearing protection shouldn't be something that you embrace enjoy and still go as hard as you want as loud as you want while still protecting your ears awesome awesome well it sounds like you guys are on the right track uh i hear the music so that means the changing stage radio show is going to commercial uh, we are powered by WS Radio Networks, brought to you by SAR Music Equipment Rentals and Pitbull Audio, where the best gear got with the best prices. Thank you very much, Noah Kraft. Thank you Appreciate so much. you coming on board. Really appreciate we'll be coming it. back in a few short minutes. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. The Penske Automotive Group is one of the premier automotive retailers in the country. And we're proud to serve Southern California with 15 Penske Automotive dealerships. Our dealers are home to some of San Diego's best selection of new and certified pre-owned Acura, Audi, BMW, Honda, Lexus, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Scion, Smart, and Toyota cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, we offer some of the most comprehensive parts and service departments in the automotive industry. At Penske Automotive Southern California, our commitment to customer service is second to none. We're never satisfied until you are. Located across San Diego, from Escondido to Mission Valley, no matter where you are in Southern California, a Penske Automotive dealer is never far away. We're never satisfied until you are. The Penske Automotive Group Southern California. Go to PenskeAutomotive.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. Love to read but just don't have the time? With Audible.com, you can catch up on reading simply by listening. Audible has the largest collection of digital audiobooks, over 85,000 titles in every genre. Listen to a bestseller on your iPhone, BlackBerry, Android smartphone, or one of 500 other compatible devices. Visit audible.com slash WSRadio today and get a free audiobook when you try Audible free for 14 days. That's audible.com slash WSRadio. 
This is Bill Gruber with BizVid Communications, a Southern California video production leader. We've been honored to sponsor, produce, write, and host many of the fine programs on WS Radio over the years. So we understand how important the Internet and your website exposure are. As video producers, we know the tricks and secrets to incorporate video to increase your search engine optimization and business success. Visit bizvidcommunications.com to see what we can do for you. B-I-Z-V-I-D communications.com. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. That's right, we are back with the third segment of the Changing Stage radio show, powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio. My name is Florentino Buenaventura, and we are brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rentals and Pitbull Audio, where you get the best gear for the best prices. And we are at the NAM show, and we're having a great time. This is the third segment here, and we are just uh, amazed at all the great, talented folks here. Uh, we've got some folks here at the booth coming by, and we are in the process of bringing in some more guests here very shortly. So, Paul, what, what do you think so far of the, the NAM show? Uh well, we, we've been working the whole time, so I haven't got, gotten a chance to see that much of it. But, uh, yeah, very exciting. A lot of, uh, I, I, you know, took about 15, 20 minutes earlier to kind of w- walk around the floor, check some stuff out. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing at uh, all the different people coming from all around the world with, with, with just a tremendous amount of gear. You know, we, uh, we hope that, uh, you know, people here are going to be able to, to you know, Take away some some cool ideas for new gear. I mean, we've had some great guests on. You know, some of the the, the, the individuals like just just recently the the company Noah with the headphones with the dubs. Oh, I mean headphones uh, with. <laughs> I'm lost in a word. Lost for a word. Earplugs. Oh, earplugs. Dubs. I'm I'm really excited to try those out. Actually, uh, it's. I, you know, I, I, I've i been playing drums, of, you know, a few years ago. I was a drummer, and that was always driving me crazy that, you know, it would kill my ears if I was playing, but if I put on, you know, the traditional ones, just regular ones, you, you lose all that detail, all the highs from the from this rides and, and the cymbals and and what your guitar player is doing, and it's just not, not the same. So I'm waiting for something like this where it's, you know, like you said, maintains the musical fidelity but gives you protection. I'm really excited to try those out. And uh, you know, where are uh, where are you uh, wanting to go after this? Uh, 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 pedals, I guess. Pedals, pedals, pedals. always pedals. All right, we've got we've we've got our guest Harv. Come on. How's it going, everybody? Hey, Harv, how you doing? Pleasure, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person. Now we've been playing tele- uh, email tag here. <laughs> so uh, Harv Gill is with us, and he's from. Uh, if hopefully, I pronounce this right. Smithson Martin. That is correct. All right. You guys had a great press release, caught my attention, and you do some really cool gear. You you deal with the you know the digital space. Tell Absolutely. us about what you're what you're showing. So we brought two things to Fam Show this year. We brought Emulator Elite, which is our flagship product. It is a giant touchscreen DJ controller. Okay. And we brought our brand new software called Emulator Pro 1.5. Okay. These two things combined allow you to create custom controllers right on the screen. For wow. all your favorite DJ programs, all your favorite production programs, all your favorite video programs. Uh, right now we have three or four templates set up. Sorry. <coughs> I ran here <laughs> to fake this interview. but no, we appreciate it, man. No worries. I know, ti- I know the timing thing is kind of hard. <laughs> but, you know, it's a live broadcast. We're going out. So, I mean, we, that's all, it's all good. No, cool. So, c- continue on, please. So, sir. yeah. So, we brought um, three templates. We brought one for Ableton. We brought one for Tractor. And we brought one for Cubase for people okay. to come try. We're, we're at booth 6829 in Exhibit Hall A if anybody wants to drop by. We're giving out demos all day. But we have this product, and we're trying to just put it in place. We're trying to get artists to use it because yeah. we're only making 100 of these units. Wow. It is very, it's a very limited edition product. Sounds and pretty exclusive. Now, yeah, what yeah. kind of price point is this going to be? This at? price point right now is $15,000. Okay, so. That's the hardware. But luckily, everyone who wants to use our software to create custom controllers, 99 bucks. Any Windows touchscreen device. That means tablets, phones, 
computers? I I DJ when I'm not doing this kind of stuff and not yeah. in the band, so I might have to come by and check. Yeah, check absolutely. It out. What do you DJ with? Uh, right. Well, right now I've been using virtual DJ. Uh, tongue tied today. Virtual <laughs> DJ. Um, and and I'm I, I say I'm a sissy DJ because all I do is just it's just the programming of the songs and let it play. Hey, I man. do I, I do that at a couple of restaurants every. It's so all often. good. The thing about our software is you literally put the buttons where you want them and you literally make them do what you want. So you can wow. have it as complex or simple as you want. We actually we do things with kids a lot just okay. in our community. Uh, where we teach them how music theory and we use our software to create live tracks. Like they press a button and a kick drum will start and they press another button and a piano will start and it'll all be in sync. Wow. And it's just a kind of cool, engaging thing for kids. So it's almost like you can create like uh, some type of um, touchpad as well yeah, yeah. For, for drum machines. Drum pads. There's so many different buttons, so many different possibilities with this sh- machine. We have different artists using it. Um, some people out there might be familiar with Infected Mushroom. They used our old product at Coachella, okay. which was streamed live around the world, and ever since then we've had great publicity. And uh, we have we have other cool artists looking into it too. Uh, now, uh, the, your, how did the company get started? And how did you, who came up with the idea? Because this is very revolutionary. Yeah, like. yeah, thank you. Um, so Smithson Martin is based off the two creators' names, Alan Smithson and Pablo Martin. Okay. And there was a there was a viral video a very long time ago, four or five years ago, of this touchscreen device in some room somewhere, mm-hmm. and it was getting around the internet. And Alan Smithson saw it, and he managed to find out the creator of the video, who lived in Argentina. And a fun fact is, till this day, they have not met, and they've been in business together for five years. But they've wow. been making it work. Uh, so uh, it wasn't going to be a business; it was just somebody's project in their basically their room. And Alan saw some potential in this product, and it's been working good so far. We've been marketing it. We've been creating different versions. We've been playing with the technology. Like, it used to be infrared technology, but now it's literally, it's it's chemically bonded right into the glass now. So wow. there's no issues with water, confetti, like things you wouldn't even think of. We've been <laughs> trial and testing this for like four years. Yeah, we, we, especially with DJ, and I think reliability is a big, big piece of that so I yeah. it sounds like you guys got that dialed in hope yeah especially for 15 grand now where would you buy something of this nature because I don't think you'd just run down to the no, no. guitar center no 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 um, you could go straight to smithsonmartin.com or email sales at smithsonmartin.com we are very responsive we have a small team but we help each other out you know where we're based out of Toronto Canada but we have offices in New York Miami LA so okay. if anybody ever wants to drop by in those areas we could definitely set up a personal demo just hit us up on our website and there's plenty of contact information there very cool. Now, so you mentioned one artist already. How, yeah. What other artists are using the, your system? Yeah, so we have, since we have this new software that just came out, we have a lot of artists looking into it. We have art, artists that are actually using it, are like Mark Romboy and stuff, more of the underground scene. People that are looking into it include names like Disclosure, Tiesto, Dubfire. We have meetings with a wow. lot of cool people. Yeah, yeah. Those are the big names, man. It's because we just created this live template. Um, we mapped this live template where... Artists can create, recreate their tracks mm-hmm. live. You know, it gives them something else to do besides DJ. You know, DJing, mixing one track into yeah. another. Some people are getting just bored up there and they want to do more things and keep the audience engaged. The thing about our product is it's transparent, so people can literally see what you're doing. The, the idea of fake DJing or people faking sets and stuff is just a thing of the past with this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like you could have your logos and branding and everything, but like even you can identify tracks even like you it's that clear it's just a see-through thing you can go right up to it see the track that's playing see what the artist is doing and if you want you can even push the video back to video screens and stuff in the club Awesome. I think I've actually seen that video, the viral video you're talking about with, yeah. it, with that DJ system. It's clear in your touches. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked up a touchscreen, I have a 20-inch touchscreen Asus that I do a lot of the. We, we, we'll use it for for uh, some of the, the the band stuff that we have. We have a Personas uh, 32 uh, RM32 AI that we use that for, and then I use it with Virtual DJ. Works works Perfect. great. Yeah. Definitely, definitely interested in trying the, the software out. Now, where can you get now? If you don't want necessarily to spend fifteen thousand dollars, there's the ninety nine dollars software is. piece. Don't worry, people. Now they might. Are you looking at getting vendors for the for the software here, or how? Yeah, you? yeah, we do have vendors. Um, like Musicians Friend and and music stores in Canada do carry our product, but it's re- it's available right on our website www.smithsonmartin.com. We actually premiered Emulator Pro 1.5 today. Okay. So it, it's literally out today. Um, they can go to the website and purchase it right from there. It works on any Windows touchscreen device. Uh, we are working with Mac OS X, but because they're not touch friendly right now. <laughs> 
because they're not touch friendly right now, that's that's a working process, and yeah. we'll update you later with that. Are you going to be doing an iPad version soon? Uh, we ha- we're working on an app actually. It's it's in the beginning processes, but you know we want to make it. There's so many DJing apps, so we're mm-hmm. trying to work around making it different somehow, yeah, maybe yeah. compatible with something. That that's definitely something that's in the works. And for people who do like our hardware, we we, we get a lot of questions yeah. of our older. Pro- we discontinued all of our products for this one product. Wow. And yeah, yeah, it's because we want to. We completely rebranded recently, and once we sell these very limited units of a hundred, we're gonna create something for everyone. Uh, a lot of different products. A lot of we we take a lot from what the community tells us, and we try to put it into our work. You know, how can the community? give you feedback we are i i personally control all the social media and the blog on our website okay and i am available literally all the time i do so not hunt, sleep <laughs> hunt, hunt harv down and he will get it done for hunt you hunt me down harv at smithsonmartin.com and i will be there do, do not worry about it uh i got you covered <laughs> i think that's a, a very valid point because a lot of companies especially small companies it's hard for them to do support so the fact that you guys are so dedicated yeah, to yeah. Make sure he, that even our technical support guy he's amazing he'll skype call with people People call us right before events, and he'll get on the phone no matter where he is, and he'll Skype you, and he'll do whatever it takes. Because, uh, you know, quite often in this business, you've got people saying, hey, go to our fact, go to our forum, you'll get the information. And you're looking around, searching around for uh, stuff, and it's just not necessary. It's not necessarily easy to find. So, you know, we got about a minute left here, Harv, and, uh, you know, your gear sounds tremendous. I'm definitely going to stop by. I want to get a, if you wouldn't mind giving me a personal, uh, you know, uh, tour of the $99 oh, of version. Of course. I don't know if I got the pocketbook for the $15,000 one yet. <laughs> but uh, with that minute left, tell me, what, what would you like people to come away with knowing about the company and about the products? I want you to know that we are a small tech company doing big things. We always listen to our customers, and we always go for big ideas and big dreams. Uh, we definitely love your feedback. And anyone who's, you know how there's always people that are scared to to get into hardware and they're sketched about touchscreen? I, I would like you to come try it. It's very, very on point. It's yeah. right no and latency. I, and I can say the touchscreen is amazing. So, you know, I, I think that's that's awesome, man. I'm looking forward to seeing the products. And, awesome. you know, I, I think the NAM show is really great about supporting companies like you guys where you got this innovation that you're doing and, you, you know, you need to get it out to the public. Yeah. This is the Changing Stage radio show. Uh, we are at the NAM show. This is day two for us. It's rocking. Thanks very much to uh, SIR Music Equipment Rentals and uh, Pitbull Audio for sponsoring us. Um, we are powered by WS Radio Network. Works the worldwide leader in internet talk radio. We'll be back in a few short minutes. On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5 star repmarketing.com. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. The Penske Automotive Group is one of the premier automotive retailers in the country, and we're proud to serve Southern California with 15 Penske Automotive dealerships. Our dealers are home to some of San Diego's best selection of new and certified pre-owned Acura, Audi, BMW, Honda, Lexus, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Scion, Smart, and Toyota cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, we offer some of the most comprehensive parts and service departments in the automotive industry. At Penske Automotive Southern California, our commitment to customer service is second to none. We're never satisfied until you are. Located across San Diego, from Escondido to Mission Valley, no matter where you are in Southern California, a Penske automotive dealer is never far away. We're never satisfied until you are. The Penske Automotive Group Southern California. Go to PenskeAutomotive.com. Come quench your desire for adventure as you indulge your Epicurean spirit at the Zap Zinfandel Experience on January 29th to 31st in San Francisco. 
This one-of-a-kind festival offers a variety of experiences where you'll mingle with winemakers and other wine lovers in an atmosphere of pure Zen paradise. Zap Zinfandel Experience. It's four extraordinary events and one classic varietal. To learn more and for special ticket pricing, go to vinvillage.com. Vin Village is where Zen lovers connect. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Welcome to the Changing Stage. Music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. All right, we are back for the fourth segment of the Changing Stage radio show powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in Internet talk radio. My name is Florentino Buenaventura. I'm the host of this fine show, and uh, we are brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rentals and Pitbull Audio, where you get the best gear for the best prices. And we're at NAM. <laughs> Can it be any better than this, Paul? This is pretty pretty fun. Yeah, Very we. Cool. So we've seen a lot of lot of cool things. We got a chance to hang out for a few minutes with uh, Marcus Miller. That was so. Get, folks, I just want to let you know I am uh, I am such a uh, you know a bass guy that uh, I've got like a bucket list of meeting bass players. So I got a chance to meet Marcus Miller to, uh, yesterday. That's pretty awesome. And then we had Nick uh, come by earlier today, a little bit before the show kicked off. Mm-hmm. So you, who, who do you still have left? Victor Wooten. Victor Wooten's next. Uh, uh, Pino Palladino. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I got I got a few folks left. I've had, I had a chance. To, I've been blessed to meet Stanley Clark. Nathan is a good friend. Nathan East. Um, Nick West, female bassist, amazing female bassist. So yeah, I guess we get a chance to be a little top heavy when it comes down to the bases with the bottom end. Are you uh, looking forward to checking out anything? I know you've been uh, you know really into that. You were uh, more bass that you're. you're baby uh, that another bassist has been drooling over la- last <laughs> night at the House of Blues. <laughs> yeah, that uh, we, we, Marty will be here uh, tomorrow, I guess, with, oh, uh, cool. with the more basses and kind of show those off. Uh, you know what? I, you know, I hate to say it. My, the, the, not, I don't hate to say it. Actually, I'd I love to say it. But, uh, the, you know, we, one of the blessings we have is we can have the gear companies that we, we kind of adore on. So I'm looking forward to really going over and checking out the Personas booth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Focus right, which we both use those. Uh, I, I'm looking at uh, forward to checking out some some bass amp gear. Uh, right, right. What are you? Uh, you wanted to check out the Warwick? Yeah, I was looking at uh, checking into the Warwick and seeing what they have, uh, as well as uh, maybe some of the tech amp. I'm, you know, we're big boutique guys, so I want to see tech amp and some of the other other uh, companies that are that are showing here that uh, may not necessarily have the huge name, but definitely have the the uh, you know, the presence, uh, you know, when it comes down to the quality that they're having. How about you, Paul? What do you think? Uh, probably also guitar amps. Uh, I, I took a quick little stroll through, through the floor before we had to get here, and I, I saw a lot of a lot of cool stuff that I want to uh, try out. Stop by uh, the Guild Guild exhibit. Tr- uh, you know, tried out some of their guitars. Uh, Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker has some really beautiful guitars out there. No, well, you know, and, and I think that's that is definitely a key for for people here. There's so many different types of gear that they can they can come take a look at. Uh, you know, what what are what are some of the other things that you're thinking that might make sense for you that's not necessarily within the guitar scope? Um, hmm. I guess uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I I still need a good pair of uh, headphones, a good pair of uh, studio monitors. Well, we know where to get the earplugs, so that's that's the what earplugs. we're heading to after this. Yeah, that's. I, 
I, I feel silly being so excited about <laughs> about earplugs, but that r- really is like a pet peeve of mine. Uh, where You're getting old, man. Yeah, I, nah, I, I was born old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have these tiny little ears. They get so they, they get abused very easily. Well, you know, hey, my giant radar receptors should should be even more so. But yeah, I definitely need to get that on as I'm getting up in in the age category so yeah so some of the other gear that I, I'm looking forward to kind of checking out is um, going by and seeing Steven Steven's stuff over at Slate Digital mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that that's really great gear and yeah we, we got a uh we got a little demo a few months ago over at uh, AES. Yeah, and it's it's amazing. The Slate, the Slate Raven is just a tremendous device. I think one of the things that I, I, we're starting to see a lot more is touchscreens. That's mm-hmm. going to be a huge thing. What, what do you think about that as a as a not a, you know an older person? <laughs> uh, you know, you 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 know started out in this. You were always telling me you know sl- slicing tape and using you know uh, the older generation technology. What do you think about this whole digital touchscreen stuff? You you. I don't want to go back to analog. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people romanticize about that, but uh, yeah, no, I don't want to go back to analog whatsoever because I can appreciate some of the the sound quality. But the actual um, the actual process, you know, we can. I think we can emulate a lot of that. Though I wouldn't, might not, you know, be. It might not be bad to digital wash, uh, you know. So, you know, what do you think about that? Uh, well, I haven't had a lot of the experience with the older technology. I'm kind of. Uh, started getting into all of this with a lot more of the digital stuff. Maybe not so much. Uh, Touch screen. Uh, uh, I don't know. I and I, I like the o- older sound definitely, but you know I I, I like them both. I, I like the versatility and uh, the digital technology gives you and all the different things, ways to be creative. Well, hey man, uh, blessing just showed up here, <laughs> Mr. Samuel Prater. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm That's doing actually good. Prater. I always say Prater, but no, it's it is. It's Prater. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, okay, it good. Yeah, yeah. That was right. <laughs> you were right. Everybody else is wrong because so, everybody else pronounces it Prater, and I go Prater. 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 Yeah, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> so Samuel, how you doing, brother, man? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Uh, just got here. Just got out of the car. Oh wow. Drove up from the you know Northern Cal. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just Shut got out down. of the car. Oh yeah, just got out of the car. Came out of San Francisco Bay. Got into the warmth. Just walked in, feeling. Just walked in, feeling good. Well, you know what's so amazing is that uh, people uh, may not know the name specifically, but they are going to because you got some new stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. But they know the voice. You've sung on just multi-platinum albums. You're the lead singer for Club Nouveau. Mm-hmm. Uh, you 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 were Artist of the Year, I believe, 1987. Yeah. But you guys keep rolling. And I want to talk more specifically, though. We, Club Nouveau, everyone knows about that. But you are a solo artist that is on the rise. You've got some new stuff coming out. I've been True. seeing on Facebook. Tell us about the new stuff. The new stuff is, you know, I, I've been trying to think of a name for it. But every time I record another song, me and my, uh, my producer partner, uh, Juan Ugly Fingers Blair. Um, I can't think of, you know what I mean? Because I cover everything. It's covering the whole gambit. Oh, man, it's good stuff. So too. It's, you sent me some stuff. It's, it's, oh, it's you liked so it? Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, you know, we got, you know, we got slow stuff. We got, and it's all songs of substance. So I'm thinking about biting, um, uh, you know, I love my boy Riddick, you yeah, know, the yeah, Chronicles yeah. of Riddick. Yeah, so yeah. it made me think like, what if I just call it the Chronicles of Samuel? Then that way I can keep it that and just change the number. Oh yeah, that that I think is a great you know idea. I mean, don't bite that out there. You heard it here first. <laughs> if I see it, if I see it, <laughs> the Chronicles of the Florentino. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, man. but no, you know what I mean. But I was thinking of that because really, it's just basically telling things as I see it. Yeah, you, as I feel it. You've been doing stuff for a long. We've actually we've you've called in on the radio. Mm-hmm. This is the first time we got a chance to hey, hang out. First, I've been to the shows, place. but you know it's nice to actually mm-hmm. do this in person. Yeah. and hear about all these wonderful things. Uh, Colleen was telling me that you've got a uh, uh, you've got a um, uh, commercial that you're doing with one of the companies up in my neck of the woods. Yeah, up in San Diego, um, working with uh, Bikinis and Martinis. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you're writing a new jingle. On? Oh man, it's 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 gonna be it's 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 gonna be nice. It's you know it's a lot of fun. I mean. I mean, I'm, I think recently here, it's just been like, I've been kind of suppressing a lot of creativity, you know, over the years, yeah, you know, yeah. because it's like, you know, like Club Nouveau has its thing. So, you know, you fall into what the thing is. Yeah. And then when I did my first solo project, it was like, 
you know, the producers from Club Nouveau, Foster yeah, yeah. McElroy, friends of mine, you know, it still kind of fell under that sound. Yeah. That's why the first single, actually, So You Like What You See, I wrote that. So that was my first branch out as, yeah. as a writer and arranger. And, and you helped break somebody's curve with that, with that song, right? Oh, man, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks, got her start yeah. On, yeah. on that she video. Was, she was, you know, modeling, but she wasn't nowhere near, you yeah. know, the level she was at. Sweet, she, her mom was her manager. Today. I mean, sweet girl. But um, at that time, that was the first time she had that kind of exposure. Yeah. And uh, it, it was you gotta, wonderful. You got to get, get her get her start on. So that's oh that's man, good. you know I, I was waiting for her to give me a shout out when she <laughs> she did something one time and she named all the video music videos she was in and I'm like she forgot the first music video uh, that actually went number one by the way. It, it, it did. <laughs> but I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad. You know we you do so much work, man. You can't remember everything. Yeah, yeah. You know? So you've got you've got like I said you're working on a studio. I see the pictures and stuff like that. When are you thinking that you're gonna uh, have a uh, you know the the, the song drop the, the album drop? You know, I'm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it. Ten, ten, ten songs. songs. Okay. So, unlike in the past, I'm gonna record a lot more than ten. Yeah. And then pull from that. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And instead of just doing just ten. Yeah, yeah. Because you know it's really easy to do that. Ten, I'm done. Yeah. And then as soon as you finish and you go to prison and get making them available, you go, oh, oh man, I got another one. I could, you know <laughs> what I mean? So I think this time what I'm gonna do is finish. Finish ten solid songs, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and just keep recording, keep recording, keep recording. Yeah. And see how the chronicles come about. That way, I might be able to get chronicles one and two. Yeah, yeah. Out of you know, out of this vibe, because when you're feeling it, and when you're, when music and songs and lyrics and arrangements are pouring out of you, you gotta yeah. do it while it's hot, because. You know, you've uh, you've been inspired, obviously, by a, a greater a greater calling. Um, is that where the music's coming from? From your from from the Lord, God. Yes. That's where everything comes from. That's where it always has come from for me. Um, and now, before before me and Juan go into a session, we pray. Before I go on stage, we That's pray. That's what I'm talking about. I'm proud for that, brother. Oh man, all the time. And before I write, as soon as I get an idea, as soon as I get an idea, I go, okay, Holy Spirit, you got to help me with this because I want this to be right. I want it to touch somebody and change somebody in a positive way. I'm like that with the radio show, so I, I definitely feel you, man. You know, it's, it's never enough time, bro, but I know you got a big show to kind of check out. I mean, I, I'm glad we were able to catch you as you're walking oh, man, by. I appreciate it. Appreciate and, uh, you know, I, I wish you the best on the, the new project coming out. When it do, when it drops, well, let me know. We're gonna have, we'll, we'll have you on, on oh, the air man. again. I love it. I love uh, it, man. This is the Changing Stage Radio Show, powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio brought to you by uh, SIR and Pitbull Audio. We'll be back in a few short minutes. Samuel Prater, thank you very much, brother. Peace out, man. All right. Appreciate you, Martina. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwhich.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwhich.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. When you think of the ultimate shipping solution for your business, you should think Indicia. That's E-N-D-I-C-I-A. Indicia. That's all you have to say. And it's a lot easier than saying this. 
Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put this butter in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. Hmm. Yes, I think I'd rather say Indicia. And you should say Indicia, too, when you want smart, efficient e-commerce shipping software. Visit Indicia.com slash radio. That's E-N-D-I-C-I-A dot com slash radio. Do you want to see Ella Bay in person? Do you want to meet Stephanie Sierra and Ariel in person? Well, we're coming to your city. All you have to do is go to WeDemand.com slash Elevate. You heard me. WeDemand.com slash Elevate. You love their music? They put on a great show. It's time to invite them into your domain. WeDemand.com slash Elevate is all you have to do. I'm out. This is KW Reed, baby, baby, baby. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com <laughs> Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. That's right, we are back with the Changing Stage radio show, powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio, and brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rentals, as well as Pitbull Audio, where you get the best gear at the best prices. We have a a very, very special guest, Mr. Jack Higginbotham. From PRS, the president of PRS. How are you? How, how are you doing, sir? Uh, we're doing great. How are you? Uh, I, we are doing phenomenal. You were our first guest back a year ago. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Here we are again. And here we are. Now we're actually broadcasting from NAM. so I want to thank you for... You know, for agreeing to, to take time out of your busy schedule, I know, because you guys are an amazing guitar manufacturer, and it's just a, uh, you know, a wonderful thing that uh, PRS has done in the industry, innovations. You know, let's jump right into it. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what are you guys showing? What's the new stuff that's coming out? So I think the big story for us this year is 30th anniversary. So it's our 30th anniversary. We started in 85, and uh, it's one of those pinnacle moments that we're, we're celebrating. Um We have a lot of, if you come up to our booth, we're really focusing on the four tiers of our business, really. So we we start with our SE line, uh, manufactured uh, overseas and inspected in the U.S. and all of that. Um, A great price point. Our whole thing has been about quality at a a great price. So we're sort of industry leaders, I believe, when it comes to a, a, a guitar that you could walk out of a store six hundred, seven hundred dollars, yeah. but it's a it's a lifetime instrument. Yeah. So it's a it's kind of an entry level price, but it's not an entry level quality. And so we've we've we're really proud of that. Fourteen years into that project, so we've we're we're celebrating that tier. S2, 18 months into our new S2 line. Okay. Um, which has been amazing. That's made in Maryland in our factory um, on a designated uh, a separate uh, manufacturing line. Um, by our craftspeople, but we're able to come in at a price point that's less than half of our, our other Maryland manufactured line, basically due to very creative and innovative manufacturing processes that our engineers have come up with. So, you know, we're all very passionate, Paul more than any of us, about we will not let something go out of our factory that we're not comfortable with from an integrity standpoint or a quality standpoint. And so the real challenge for our engineering crew was come up with something that's cool, awesome, all of those things that you want PRS to be, and bring it in at, at, at much fewer manufacturing hours. And and that line is doing great. It's uh, We kind of look at it as our um, indie line, if you want to look okay. at it that way. So. Um, and it's doing really well. It's we've we've expanded the breadth of that product line, and um, you know, 18 months in, it's and we have new products that will be coming through this year. So that's us too. Then core, which is what we started with 30 yeah. years ago. You know, we're always building on that. So we have um, a lot going on upstairs as far as rolling out core, and then private stock. And with private stock, 
Um, that's the, our pinnacle product line, yeah, yeah. Um, the upper tier stuff. This year, I think what's really cool about private stock is we've we've had the custom shop aspect of that for many, many years. Now we have private stock models. So there's about seven, I believe, models that are available inside of that private stock range. Um, we just demonstrated the McCarty single cut private stock model upstairs. Um, that that's just something new that helps some um, people that are there's so much to choose from sometimes you don't know where to start so we brought those models in to help people to make decisions basically that that is awesome now you also you you span the gamut though uh, you've got the se line that yeah. uh, uh, I think has been very very successful uh, in the in, in you know uh, the, the process now but those are done overseas right that's right yeah so uh, tell us a bit how you come across or how you come up with the um, the design you know, uh, focuses that you're going to have for the different various lines? Okay. Well, core is kind of where everything is born from. So if you look at our core line, it, you know, we, we started a company with the Custom 24, what's now known as the Custom 24. Yeah. And then um, we'll take a, a foundation, I guess you could say, platform of mm-hmm. something like a Custom 24, and then we'll tweak it a little bit. Maybe we'll change the neck shape, we'll change pickups, we'll do, we'll, we'll put extraordinary woods on it, it becomes private stock. Yeah. Then you take that same, the essence of that instrument, the nature of that instrument, and you say, okay, I want to have an S2 that is a custom. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? So you, you know what the essence is, and you know, I've got to, I've got to go from 20 hours to six hours in this guitar. How am I going to do that? And so that, that, that's how you go about that. And then the SE, of course, has been um, a great partnership that we've had with World Manufacturing on the electric side and okay. KPBO on the acoustic side. Um, the beautiful thing about working with the, the guys that we work with. Um, on the internationally made guitars is they're guitar lovers and they're guitar builders and they're passionate about what they do and so when we get together we're talking all the same language we may not be speaking the same language (laughs) but we're talking the same language music is like (laughs) it's like a universal language right that is so you know you've got all these great guitars but that's not all what prs is doing right now you've got a great line of amps as well we do and the amps have been i guess we're about maybe five years into our amplifier project and our acoustic project as well. They came on simultaneously. Um, the amplifiers have really taken off. We have the Archons um, that we launched in summer of 2014. Okay. The Archons came out, and they've really shook the world. Um, amazing amplifiers. We brought them out as a high-gain amp, you know, kind of geared towards hard rock and metal. Yeah. What we found out is they are very versatile, and they started popping up in Nashville <laughs> because they have an amazing clean channel, just a shimmery, beautiful clean channel, which is kind of funny that... You know, the thing that we had in our mind is like a full-on yeah. rock amp, and all of a sudden it's like a, it's a great country amp. My producer, Paul Berzeski, is a guitar player. He's looking hey. at uh, hey. checking out the amp. Did you have a question about the amp, Paul? Uh, I was actually not aware of these. I definitely would like to check, it, check yeah, them out. Yeah, come on out. They're combos? Yeah, we have combos and head cabs. So cool, cool. 25 and 50 watts. So, yeah, definitely come up. Love to love to show you what we have. I was really impressed with some of the PRS uh, guitars I got to check out recently. Just in a guitar center, you uh, uh, you built a coil tap system into like a selector switch. Yeah, that's right. That's very cool. Yeah, I tell you what, Paul Smith is a very creative mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and to be around Paul is to have your paradigm shifted uh-huh. about every five minutes. So yeah, I, I was really impressed with those because. Sometimes you can, you can, you know, a coil tap a, a humbucker, and it, it doesn't really sound right. like, like a Strat or something. It just right. kind of sounds thin. But these are really, right. really, really nice and chunky and uh, yeah, it, it, delivered. It, it's very um, realistic, and it doesn't come with a lot of dB shift. So you don't, you know, it, it's very controllable from the stage when you when you play around with those settings. Um, but Paul, going back to Paul, um, he has he, he he has maybe for the last four or five. He's obviously very interested in the complete guitar, but he's been he's become incredibly interested in pickups and pickup manufacturing mm-hmm. and the electronic side of guitars in probably the last five six years. So he uh, you know he is uh, he's an R and D wonder. He's a powerhouse and and uh, just seems like he has another great idea every every day. I think I was at Nam uh, in '87 when he was. It was like one of his first years, if not his first year, and it's just you know, and, and just watching the, the the progress of the company since then yeah. to be the powerhouse that it is today. When did you start? Eighty-five. Eight, yeah, 85. I started 
to started the year the company started, so I've been there wow. for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's my 30th anniversary also. Well, congratulations, man. You guys have done such a tremendous job. Now, we've seen, you know, in this time frame, we've seen the industry change. I- I'm really impressed by this NAMM show because last year it didn't seem to have as many people as yeah. it seems like it's grown quite a bit. How, what, what's the PRS's take on the industry right now with all the dynamics going on? You know, my take is this. For, for starters, the energy just pure energy that is inside of our room and I am not able to get out of our room all that all. this was a nice break to come down here well, and do I, this know, with you. We totally appreciate this because <laughs> yeah, you so know you. Jackie and Bob is going to come hang out with us. That's yeah, awesome. it's good. I'm going to get a slice of pizza too. <laughs> but I think the energy level is really, really good. I think that probably people are recognizing there is some incremental um, gain in the economy yeah, and yeah. that good feeling. The dealers have got some of that good feeling and yeah. we, we are feeling that. So I think it's a really, really positive thing. I think our industry you know, the, the music industry in general is shifting so rapidly, and I think it all starts with music itself, and then that bleeds into, into, you know, the manufacturing of instruments, how retailers are going about selling their goods, how some manufacturers are going about selling to retailers or yeah. not to sell to retailers. All of those things are shifting really, really quickly. So um, we're very, you know, I, I, I look at it as... Um, in spite of the fact that people, you know, friends of mine say, oh, you're in the music industry, that's so cutting edge. It's like, really, it's about the most old-fashioned industry in the world. You know it's it's amazing. I mean, the guitar, there's innovations, obviously, that Paul's been doing, but it's just amazing how the guitar has pretty much been the same thing through uh, centuries or maybe even longer. Um, Now, with that said, you know, you you guys are, are... uh, blazing some some pathways. What are some of the new programs that you're starting to, to roll out as a way of how you're getting your your gear to be uh, aware by the general public? Well, I think uh, for starters, we are trying to have a larger presence in um, festivals. So, like South by Southwest. Okay. So you're we, gonna we're we're going to be in South by um, with a shred shed. So if anybody's down in Austin, you should come by and. And visit us and and get your hands on some gear and and kind of get to know who we are. So we'll be going out in market and doing more of that. I think we'll continue to look at our S2 line because that is such a prime market of uh, customers. The the I typecasted a little bit as an indie customer. You know, somebody that we really want to speak to, the next generation of mover and shaker. So, you know, we've got about 30 seconds left. Uh, are, are you going to be able to stay for the second segment? or, or That's are, up to Jean, if she tells me <laughs> I can or not. <laughs> How about that, Jean? Are you guys, or do you guys have time? Or, or? I'm not sure what you have next. I, I think you're a well, little pressed for time. I think I may have to bow out. Okay, no, no worries. <laughs> well, about 20 seconds left. Give us the message that you want to deliver for PRS. Uh, I think what I would like to say is, We have something for everybody, and uh, no matter where you land inside of our product tiers, um, our passion is quality, and it's uncompromised quest for the best tone that we can get. So that that's what we're about. So if you've got 500 bucks or 5,000, we want to be we want to be somebody you're looking at. Awesome, Jackie Blossom. Thank you very much for joining us with the Changing Stage Radio Show. We'll be back in a few short minutes. Thank you. Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. Meet Profit Bandit, the best way to find new Amazon inventory using only your smartphone. Scan any barcode and in less than five seconds, Profit Bandit shows you Amazon sales rank, competing offers, whether Amazon selling the item, who has the buy box, your potential Amazon profit, and more. Customizable settings allow you to calculate FBA or MFN profit down to the penny. Available for iPhone and Android, and your satisfaction is guaranteed. Visit SellerEngine.com forward slash Ash Janelle for a special offer. 
On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5, star, rep, marketing.com. I have some good news for a change. With the stressful times upon us, having a regular glass of wine has proved in many studies to reduce stress. Want some more stress-relieving tips? VinVillage.com is an exciting new social organization connecting wine lovers around the country with an exclusive local and online wine lifestyle experience. Vin Village members can meet others online and in person, attend wine dinners and tastings, participate in forums, blogs, and wikis, purchase limited and exclusive wines, even create your own wine. You heard me, create your own wine. And best yet, membership is free. So reduce some of the stress and have some fun. Join now and connect with thousands of other like-minded wine lovers. To learn more, go to VinVillage.com. That's www.VinVillage.com. VinVillage is where wine lovers connect. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Welcome, welcome back. This is the Changing Stage radio show powered by WS Radio Network. And, oh, we are having a great time at the NAM show. And we are brought to you by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, SIR, Music Equipment Inst- Rentals and Pitbull Audio, where you get the best gear at the best prices. And we've got a, a tremendous guest here, a yeah, good friend. Dan Tucker from Tucker Guitar Company. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good, man. So you guys are here. You're going to be check, check, checking out the show. Tell us a bit about the, what you guys are hoping to accomplish here. Uh, the main thing uh, I'm here for today is I'd like to uh, put a face to some of the names, uh, the folks I've been working with, you know, people that have uh, been supplying me with parts and things like that from other parts of the country so it's nice that they're here i'll be able to meet them face to face that are just you know phone conversations things like that so awesome awesome and uh you you man well first off uh all you folks that are listening let me tell you about an amazing custom guitar tucker guitars are just beautiful they're award-winning tell us about how you came up with the process for this you know it, it was uh it was a long a painstaking process to be honest with you because um you know i've been woodworking my whole life i've been uh building things out of wood and been playing guitar since i was a kid so uh i just one day decided i wanted to put those two together and uh so i just went on a a a discovery a quest of discovery right i'm still on that quest right now i'm by no means have i gotten to where i want to be but i've gotten from the taking a a raw piece of wood in my garage and i started with plywood really because I didn't want to waste good wood, yeah. right? And and so I started with plywood or MDF particle board, and I started shaping my guitars and trying to come up with uh, an original body design that hasn't been done before. You know, you look around, uh, you see the Strats and you see the Les Pauls and you see all the variations of copies of those, you know, with different brands on them. And I'm like, you know, that's been done. You know, so uh, my quest and my original my original goal was to um, come up with something original something I hadn't seen before, something that somebody would see and go, hey, I like that, you know? And I, and I also wanted it to be familiar, yeah. right? So that's kind of like my slogan. It's it's my guitar bodies, uh, the design we came up with, you know, they're familiar yet different, yeah, you yeah. know? So they're different enough that someone's going to go, wow, that's that, that's unusual, but it's familiar enough 
you know, that they're going to feel comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah. Right? In fact, uh, Paul Berzeski, my producer, had a chance to jam on those. Tell us, Paul, what, what was your experience with the with Tucker Guitars? Uh, just very, very good craftsmanship. Good pre- precision, just gr- great playability, amazing tone. Uh, you had that one with the with the delay reverb circuit built right into the guitar with the you know controllable right right on board. That, that was very cool and not anything I I, don't, I think I've seen any anywhere else. I have to tell you that uh, I play at home all the time and that guitar is at my house because I really built it for my brother as a gift and I haven't given it to him yet. And I just <laughs> talked to him yesterday. He's in his motorhome up in Seattle, you know, uh, kind of touring the country, and he keeps asking me, "When am I going to get my guitar, bro? When I, you know, he wants to play it and and." At home, when I play, you know, I, I end up going back to that guitar all the time because, uh, for a couple reasons, because the way it sounds, that semi-hollow body, and the way uh, the way it feels, it plays great, but it's that onboard delay, you know, being able to 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 get effects and stuff right on the spot in any amp that I'm playing, whether it's in my garage, whether it's in you know it's in my bedroom, because I have amps in every room in the house, right? It's an amazing sounding d- delay. Is it? Uh just whatever the circuit you use, is there a difference by having it right on board that makes it, uh, you know, sound so crisp well, as opposed to having like a pedal? Or yeah, yeah absolutely. The the technology behind that that delay uh, comes from the 70s, from the late 70s. Mm-hmm. So back then, you know, delay pedals were huge. Mm-hmm. You know, they were probably 12 inches by 8 inches, you know, just big, huge circuits to get delay because they were analog circuits. And so what they've done with modern technology, they can literally shrink that down to a circuit board that's about an inch and a half by, by three quarters of an inch. Mm-hmm. And But it's all the analog technology. It's just shrunk down. So it's down. an analog delay in there? That's an analog delay, uh-huh. yeah. So that's the reason why uh, when, you, when you do turn it on, it does sound... There's a little bit of noise involved, a little bit of, of gray noise, they call it. And it's there on purpose because that's the way the delays were back right. in the day, right? right? And so that's part of the ambiance and it's part of the sound of it. Uh, it. It's not a crystal clear digital delay, but it is definitely a cool sound that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, right. And, and you could dial it in from a, a re, just a reverb, like a nice slap back, all the way to like trippy, long, long delay. Yeah, you can do like a 50s, uh, 50, 50s style slap back reverb mm-hmm. all the way to a full 20 millisecond delay. Yeah. At the, you know, at the touch of your fingers. So. Very cool. Uh, uh, does anyone else do something like that, or is it, did you basically come up with that? No, there's uh, people have been doing it over the years. Like back in the 80s, there was a guitar company called, uh, man, what's the name of that guitar company? I can't remember. Japanese brand guitar company, but okay. they had what they called mod boards. But even then, they were modules about this big, mm. and the whole back of the guitar would open up so you could plug them in. Oh, oh. Electra. The brand was Electra. Okay. Oh, you and, yeah, you that, remember so. Electra? Yeah, you could plug these modules in there and close the back of it, but it was a huge cavity like that, and you could get like a compressor and a delay. And those were analog too. So it's not the first time it's been done. It's just getting so much better now because mm-hmm. technology, you can shrink that down. I can put it in a normal cavity, still leave a lot of wood and substance of the guitar, which creates sustain, and I'm not taking that away to put these mod boards in my guitars. Right. So it, while you're building these guitars and you've built some amazing uh, uh, products here, how, how can people find these guitars? What are the price points, Dan? The price points start, you know, uh, I can build a guitar at any price point, just so you know, you know. But uh, the ones that I build usually are between $2,500 to $3,500, right around there. Yeah, so those are those are real serious guitars for real serious players. Absolutely. So, and you're looking, though, you're looking at doing some kind of guitars that would be more in the, the player range, I guess, the, you know, the average player. So at some point, that we, we talked about that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we're developing models that would range from... Uh, 1200 to 1800 um, but that's probably as, as low as low as we're yeah. gonna be able to go and that's just because of the materials I use you know, you know they're handmade each one of them's uh, individual piece of art and uh, it just the time frame and the labor that goes into it and the materials you can't get anywhere else yeah, yeah. now where can uh, people find out about these guitars can you tell us the website URL yes the website is www.tuckerguitarcompany.com all one word uh, you can go on there. You can take a look at uh, you know uh, the samples of our products, samples of the necks we make, the bodies we make, the finishes. There's samples. Uh, there's also some pictures of some completed ones that have, bought, that have been built and sold. Uh, there's also uh, pictures of uh, 
from the Del Mar Fair, San Diego County Fair this year, where we won first and third place. So those pictures of the ribbons and the plaques and everything that we received for those awards we won. So it's all on the website. That's awesome. And uh, if you're local in San Diego area, they might be able to see them at a couple of the, the local shops, right? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, call me. My number's on the website. There's a contact me page, and uh, they're displayed in different places at different times, so I don't have a specific location right now. But if you say shoot me an email, I can say, hey, you know, drop by so-and-so, and there's one there, that kind of thing. I think I think that's big. You know, we've, we've talked many times about this custom custom work. I think is really going to be, uh, you know, a big focus for the the future of the music and, uh, instrument manufacturers business, because you know, right now with Asia and the different variations that they have, the different iconic models that have been around, like the the Strats or the Les Pauls. Musicians are going to have a challenge finding that that guitar that's going to give them that defined sound. You know, they, they've, it's already been done, but with a guitar like yours, or you know, even like more basses, where you know, local custom builders, I think it makes makes a big difference. What's your philosophy on that, Dan? You know, you, you bring up a good point, and just for a second, I want to segue before I address your question. Last night, I had a customer bring me. Uh, a Paul Reed Smith that he had made uh, bought in Korea. It was a Korean-made Paul Reed Smith, so it wasn't American-made. And, you know, he uh, just recently purchased it, you know, paid around $700 for it, and he called me up and said, you know, I got this beautiful guitar, you know, and something's wrong with it. It's just not playing right. You know, can you help me out? So I was like, yeah, sure, bring it by the shop. So, anyways, it's the first Korean-made PRS that I had seen, and I love PRS. They're a great brand. And, uh, and I took a look at it, and on the surface, it looked beautiful. I mean, you know, Class A finish, you know, great engineering, the, the whole shebang. Uh, but the customer was right; it, it didn't, it didn't play good. So, um, while there's, and I'm fixing it. You know, I'm having to do some fret work and stuff like that. But um, while there are a lot of affordable guitar brands out there, you know, and I often think about, uh, you know, how can you financially compete with, uh, with a product like that, uh, based on the cost and what it takes me to make one or what it takes them to make one. How you, you know, from a consuming standpoint, and you know, that price point, you know, how do you compete with that, right? So that's why I really. I'm not gearing. I'm not aiming toward that price point because I I can't compete with those guys. Yeah. You know, their stuff's being made overseas. But if you look, if you peel, the, if you peel the 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 peeling of the onion off, so to speak, yeah. right, or get into the meat of it, yeah. uh, you look at the bridge. It's pot metal. You know, it's not machined metal, um, which uh, what affects the tone and sustain. You know, it's the quality. The quality of the parts are just not there, and the, and they just can't be. You yeah. can't put a guitar out for that kind of money with that kind of with that kind of finish. And have quality parts at that price. It just can't be done. You know, if if it can, someone's gonna have to show me how because I, I can't I can't see it. Yeah, man, that's uh, you know, like I said, testimony from Paul, myself. You know, amazing guitars that you you're able to do there. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. And uh, with about a little less than a minute left, what do you want the 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 folks here at NAM to to take away from the show? You know, as you see it, and for the industry. Yeah, and the thing about let me answer your question. Yes, oh, previously, yeah, just yeah. for a second. My philosophy is is uh, to cut no corners, and and if you talk to all the people I, I work with and have worked with in these projects, um, I, I, I spare no expense and I cut no corners. And it doesn't matter how long it takes me, doesn't matter what it costs me. When I finish a guitar, I want it to be something that I would want to own, that I would want to play, that I want to hang on my wall, yeah. and that I would want to hear. And, and and that's it. That you know, that's it. The yeah. best products, the best wood, the best finish I can find. I don't cut no corners, and it is what it is. Awesome. Well, hey, we're going to be going to the next segment of the Changing Stage Radio Show here in a few short minutes. This is the Changing Stage Radio Show. My name is Florentino Buenaventura with Daniel Tucker from Tucker Guitar Company. We are powered by WS Radio, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio, and brought to you by SIR and Pitbull Audio. We'll be right back. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. The Penske Automotive Group is one of the premier automotive retailers in the country, and we're proud to serve Southern California with 15 Penske Automotive dealerships. Our dealers are home to some of San Diego's best selection of new and certified pre-owned Acura, Audi, BMW, Honda, 
Lexus, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Scion, Smart, and Toyota cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, we offer some of the most comprehensive parts and service departments in the automotive industry. At Penske Automotive Southern California, our commitment to customer service is second to none. We're never satisfied until you are. Located across San Diego, from Escondido to Mission Valley, no matter where you are in Southern California, a Penske automotive dealer is never far away. We're never satisfied until you are. The Penske Automotive Group, Southern California. Go to PenskeAutomotive.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. Love to read but just don't have the time? With Audible.com, you can catch up on reading simply by listening. Audible has the largest collection of digital audiobooks, over 85,000 titles in every genre. Listen to a bestseller on your iPhone, BlackBerry, Android smartphone, or one of 500 other compatible devices. Visit audible.com slash wsradio today and get a free audiobook when you try Audible free for 14 days. That's audible.com slash wsradio. This is Bill Gruber with BizVid Communications, a Southern California video production leader. We've been honored to sponsor, produce, write, and host many of the fine programs on WS Radio over the years. So we understand how important the Internet and your website exposure are. As video producers, we know the tricks and secrets to incorporate video to increase your search engine optimization and business success. Visit bizvidcommunications.com to see what we can do for you. B-I-Z-V-I-D communications.com. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Changing Stage, music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Changing Stage radio show, powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio, and brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rentals, as well as Pitbull Audio, where you get the best gear at the best prices. And we are back on with Daniel Tucker and a very good friend, Brendan McCreary. Say hello, hello Brendan. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Brendan is a tremendous artist with beautiful... Uh, I always get this t- tongue-tied. Say Quite all right. Young, Beautiful, In a Hurry is yes. the name of my band. <laughs> I was going to say Beautiful Young. And, uh, How do I get in that band? Dude, just, just Wait a minute. I'm not young. I'm not sign beautiful. Up, bro. I'm, I'm only one of three. I'm it's all hurry, about okay? what's inside. It's about what's inside. Forget the outside. Uh, tremendous, tremendous group. Great songwriter. Great composer. You do music for a number of the, the top yeah, programs. Yeah, well, I'm writing songs on uh, sci-fi, the hit sci-fi show, Defiance. Yes. Just, it's awesome that a show needs songs, <laughs> original songs, which is where I come in. That's useful. Yes, that, that definitely could pay the bills, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so, and uh, we've had Dan here talking about his wonderful guitar company, about custom guitar work, about the award-winning stuff. And Brent is actually going to co-host with me. You had a couple of questions that you were kind of... Well, I did. I mean, on behalf of all of my burgeoning luthier friends, uh, what what goes through the mind of someone that's going to embark on a, a journey like that, which is arguably even more difficult than becoming a rock star or something? You know, it's like all life in music is difficult, and uh, becoming a sex, su- successful luthier is... You know, uh, uh, David and Goliath task. So, what what goes into that? You know, from inception to execution. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a long question. Sure. So I'll try to give you a, a good short answer to it. But uh, it started when I was a, when I was really young. 
uh, working on guitars in, in my garage when I was a kid, uh, wiring. I started with electronics because I, I have a degree in electronics engineering. I'm pretty mm-hmm. good with electronics. So that was always kind of my uh, forte was wiring. So that's kind of where it started. And I started fixing, rewiring my guitars, you know, modifying them, making them do things I wanted them to do. And I started doing it for friends. And that just kind of grew over wow. the years. So, But it was about five years ago I, I decided to... Uh, make guitars right and uh you know you, first of all you gotta have a screw loose because you know if you think about that that saturated market right sure that's the first thing my brother told me when i told him i was gonna do he's like well you know how you figure you're gonna sell them there's so many people out there making guitars and you know and i, and I got discouraged for a little bit and i remember thinking you know yeah maybe he's right you know how am i going to compete with you guys so i kind of did a little r&d a little research and sure. discovery and i was you know going to the good guitar stores around San Diego and, and actually you know, not just San Diego but Hollywood and that whole area and I just started playing guitars off the shelf grabbing them off the shelf and, and you know I wasn't really thrilled with not much that I found some mm-hmm. you know were pretty good you know the big some of the stuff from the big boys you know sure. were, were made really well but uh, I just see a, a huge decline in quality and, yep. and, and and more importantly in attention to detail so there was a point where I, I, I thought, you know, I, I can't compete with these guys because I'm going to give them the attention to detail they're not getting somewhere else. And I remember uh, I worked for Home Depot for 22 years. Okay. And I remember thinking uh, there's this little hardware store down the street from the store I was managing, and I couldn't believe this guy stayed in business. I mean, here we are, this beast, billion-dollar corporation, and this little hardware store staying in business. And one day I went in and I asked the guy, the owner, and I said, hey, I said, How do you, what do you think makes you stay in business? And he looked at me, he goes, it's really easy. He knew I was the manager of that store, right? He goes, I just do good, everything you do bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said to me. And I was like, hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> and I thought, you know, and I thought about it. And then so I asked him, I said, how do you know what we do bad? He goes, I shop your store. Yeah, I walk inside. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been to a Home Depot. <laughs> exactly. So um, that's what I did. I, I started looking at... at Manufacturer uh, guitar, you know, all the major manufacturers and even the non-major manufacturers, and uh, I just decided I, I could do good what they do bad. So when it comes to your workshop and setting that up and cutting and I mean uh, the amount of machinery that you need or you know how did how did that come about? Like setting up your workshop, where do you work? I, I, most most of the stuffs built in my garage. Okay. And I started off uh, using templates, you know, making a template. And then using that template to duplicate bodies, for mm-hmm. instance, right? Uh, and, of course, I made hundreds of, out of, like I was saying earlier, out of plywood and scrap wood and stuff that I threw away. And uh, once you finalize the template, uh, and it does take a lot of tools to do that. I use, like, router tables and pen routers and, and, and planers and sanders. I, I mean, you, I've, I have a three-car garage, and I've never put a car in it. Yeah, okay? of course. <laughs> but nowadays, because of CNC machines, which are computer-controlled robotic mm-hmm. arms, I can get done in a 4x4 four four or 4x5 four area. What I what would take my entire garage full of tools to do before? Yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, so that that's what I'm doing now. I switched over to CNC. All all my bodies and necks and everything are all cut with a CNC machine. And it's a robotic arm. So now you do you know, it's computer programming and it's really easy because you. I'm, I shouldn't say it's easy. It's very difficult. I'm you sure. Have, I'm sure it's very difficult. Yeah, you know, I, I'm. It's way above my pay grade, right? Sure. So I have other people to help me with the the technical side of that that I don't understand. But what I do understand is how to make a guitar, mm-hmm. and I'm really good with woodworking. So uh, I give them direction. They change the plans. We cut them. We test them. That's how we got to where we are. But now, once the design is finalized, I can reproduce it, just like that. Of course. One after another. So, so. you're you're. It's five years ago. You finished your first guitar, and you're like, hell yes. I'm a, I'm I am a guitar maker. I've 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 made my guitar. Who who's the first person that put their hands on it and who's the first person that took the guitar home and you'd never see it again? You know what I mean? Like they took your baby away. Well, it had to be my brother. Oh man. Yeah. Keep it in the family. <laughs> you know, I, I love you my brother. Right? I, I love my brother. He's a great guy and and you know, when I told him I was doing this first thing, you know, he tried to talk me out of it cuz he didn't think it you know, it was thought it was a saturated market he's a very good my brother's an astute businessman sure i mean you know he's he, he's good there and but then when he realized that i wasn't going to give up you know and i and i sold him is this on an older or younger brother he's two years older yeah. okay that's what i thought <laughs> and I, when i sold him on on the idea right of a tucker guitar company based on the philosophy i told you earlier i just want to do good what everybody else is doing bad mm-hmm. uh he came around and so then he says to me you yeah, know well you know i want the first one you make yeah, you know, that's my brother. Zero, zero, right? one. Yeah, and so I was, and I already had that plan for my daughter because I have a 16 year old daughter. And so I, uh, I said, okay, I'll give you the first one I finished, but you know, the zero, zero, one's going to my kid. 
And so he's okay with that, and, and that's actually what happened. So I built it, and, and of course he loved it, and he's just crying for it because I still I got it back from him because I use <laughs> I use it for a, you know for selling, right? I take it to shows and yeah. show people, and I use this uh, for displays. In fact, Paul Paul played it, and Paul didn't want to give it back to me, did you, Paul? No. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, so you know, it went to my brother, and that's just the way it's going to be. So I'll give it to him. You know, I'm going to build another one, like duplicate it. Yeah. And uh, then I'll give it to him. But yeah, he, he's so got the original. Dan was lucky that he made it out of the studio alive that day when he brought it in. <laughs> oh man. Man. That's a good problem to have, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, Paul, just real quick, is that you playing in that intro? Yeah, the... yeah, that's that's me. Did he be, did he can make any guitar look good, sound good. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Oh, thank you. It's pretty intense. Yeah, it's a great, great plan. Tino played bass on that too. Oh. I, I can't remember how, what I what the <laughs> heck I did, but uh, he, I, I was with the bass one time. He said, "Why don't you play with the track?" I said, "I don't know what I did, man." That happened you to played? me too. I tried playing along to. I think when Dan was on, I, I tried to playing along to it. And I forgot. Ah, it. that's the way it goes. <laughs> I was pulling it. Out that, of, that happens to me all the time. I'll be up at three o'clock in the morning with headphones on, whole family's in bed, and I'll be jamming. I'll come up with a lick, and the next morning I'll try to remember it. It's gone. It's gone. That's the it's, worst. Yeah, it's gone. Now, now, Brendan, from the artist side. What do you look for when you're looking at guitars? I know no, we've been around. You've been playing a lot of acoustic. I don't know if you... I play electric. But, yeah. um, so a couple years ago, I've only been playing electric for a very comparatively short amount of time than I have acoustic slat. And then, of course, guitar, I haven't been playing nearly as long as piano. So uh, I was playing through this Telecaster, which um, I've re you know I had gutted and completely redone, uh, through a uh, Fender... DeVille Hot Rod 212, and I, I went on this thing called what I referred to as a Tone Quest. It was so much of a pilgrimage. You know nothing like, about that, Paul, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Everyone in this building knows what I'm talking about. And I, my, 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 I had one simple rule for it. I knew when it came to buying the amp as well, but also the guitar. I was just like, I, all I need to do is pick it up and play an open E chord, and I should know. And uh, I know that sound. Maybe that sounds naive. But that was my modus operandi, and I and I did that on a number of guitars, and uh, there was just one that I was just like, oh, that's what it's gonna be, and I ended up buying a James Trissart um, Steel Deville, De yeah, that's what he calls him. Uh, it's, it's his version of the Les Paul. Okay. And uh, you know, I just picked it up and I strummed it, and it was, I was like, oh, okay. You know, I don't need to think about this, and 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 I, I don't regret it. Everyone that's played the guitar, same type of thing, where it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, that's what I look for. And same thing with an amp. I'm a two-channel type of guy, and uh, the price of the amp needs to be worth the clean channel. So you start there, you strum the open E chord, and it should sound like an angel choir. And then uh, you do the same thing on the distortion channel, and if that is also Angel choir status, then the choice is clear. Because if you, you 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 get to you can the process of purchasing these things can be so convoluted. And if you get technical about it, it really should be about how you feel, yeah. how it makes you feel when you when you pick it up for the first time. That's I think that's just an instinctual an instinctual thing right there. Paul's over there shaking his head. He gets it. Yeah. 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 And, and, and it t a lot of times it just takes trying a bunch of things and just A and Bing stuff and see, seeing what yeah. call, calls out to you. And sometimes, like, like you said, just something pops yeah. pops out at you that's different from everything else. Yeah, totally. Else. That's of, important. What kind of pickups are in that guitar? Uh, Arcane Ink pickups. The, I forget the guy's name. Uh, over at Arcane Ink, he does all of Trissart's, at least he used to. I don't know. It's been a couple years now. Uh, he does all of Tristart's, uh, uh, so they're uh, custom round. Yes, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put them in my telly as well. Oh, awesome. Well, we got about 30 seconds left, Dan. Um, then we're going to the next segment. Give us your final words about what people should know about Tucker Guitars here at the NAM show. I, I would like everybody at the NAM show to know this. Come play one. It's on my website. If you read about the, the title page of my website, uh, if you play one, you won't want to put it down. It, it's that simple. So all I ask is that anybody who's interested come play one. Awesome. And hear it. We gotta have the same haircut. That's right. We got the same barber. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Hair folks, is overrated. Changing stage radio show at the NAM show. It's just been a, a blast. Uh, we've got one more segment to to come up. Uh, thanks to SIR and Pitbull Audio, and we are powered by WS Radio Networks, the worldwide leader in internet talk radio. We'll be right back. 
On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5 star rep marketing.com the number five star rep marketing.com are you serious about your music are you ready to run with the big dogs the experts at pitbull audio have the gear to get you into the game serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like mesa boogie fender pioneer ernie ball and american audio to sound your best you need the best Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. The Penske Automotive Group is one of the premier automotive retailers in the country. And we're proud to serve Southern California with 15 Penske Automotive dealerships. Our dealers are home to some of San Diego's best selection of new and certified pre-owned Acura, Audi, BMW, Honda, Lexus, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Scion, Smart, and Toyota cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, we offer some of the most comprehensive parts and service departments in the automotive industry. At Penske Automotive Southern California, our commitment to customer service is second to none. We're never satisfied until you are. Located across San Diego, from Escondido to Mission Valley, no matter where you are in Southern California, a Penske automotive dealer is never far away. We're never satisfied until you are. The Penske Automotive Group, Southern California. Go to PenskeAutomotive.com. Come quench your desire for adventure as you indulge your Epicurean spirit at the Zap Zinfandel Experience on January 29th to 31st in San Francisco. This one-of-a-kind festival offers a variety of experiences where you'll mingle with winemakers and other wine lovers in an atmosphere of pure Zen paradise. Zap Zinfandel Experience. It's four extraordinary events and one classic varietal. To learn more and for special ticket pricing, go to vinvillage.com. Vin Village is where Zen lovers connect. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Welcome to the Changing Stage. Music gear talk from the manufacturers and musicians who define the biz. Here's your host, Florentino Buenaventura. Wow, wow, wow. We're down to the uh, last few here at the NAM show for the Changing Stage Radio Show. Um, it's been a great show, and we've been having an awesome time. Obviously, the show's going to continue on, but uh, we got to go out and check it out, right, Paul? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> T- time to get our hands on some stuff. And uh, we definitely got to call out uh, WS Radio because we are powered by them. They're back at the station making sure that we are being delivered live over the air. And Pitbull Audio and SIR, you guys, thank you very much for supporting us here. Uh, we've got uh, a good a couple of good friends here. We've, we've got Brendan McCray, who was on with the last segment. Hello. Uh, he's co-hosting with me for the, the last couple of segments. And Tim Dolbear, another good friend from a, a, a magical company called Magix. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Very, very good, sir. So, Tim... Magics, you guys are here showing all the latest stuff. Tell us what is Magics offering? So, what Magics is is Magics, as a lot of people will recognize them from the consumer software that they do. And the consumer software, they're 
huge company for consumer software. Yeah, yeah. But they also have a pro division, which stems all the way back from 1999, 19... Or sorry, 1989, in the early 90s, back on the Atari system they started in Dresden, Germany, making professional sequencing, and, and then they moved into audio software, and that was Sampletude, was actually called Red Roaster at one point also, yeah. and Magix was uh, a company started by uh, two gentlemen in Berlin who had a friend who had this company, Sampletude, and they merged together in the mid-90s, and they've been running as a powerhouse ever since. So Magix overall is actually the second biggest seller of software second only to Microsoft in Europe. So they are a huge company. But the Pro Division isn't that well known in North America, but they are in uh, in Europe. For instance, the flagship product made for broadcast and uh, post-production as well as music production is called Sequoia. And they have more licenses of Sequoia at the BBC than we do in all of North America. And we have <laughs> 600 in North America, so that tells you what they have at the BBC. They have 20 to 30,000 licenses of Sequoia at broadcasters in Europe. And uh, Sequoia being their flagship retails for $3,000. So it's just an amazing amount of, of coverage that they have in Europe. Yeah. But here, people don't really know much about it. People mostly know about Pro Tools. And they all, all often ask me, well, compared to Pro Tools, what is Sampletude and what is Sequoia? And I said, say, you have Pro Tools. And if you also add all of the audio restoration stuff that you would see from Isotope, Mm -hmm. built in and all of the pitch automation and pitch work that you would get from Melodyne added in all of that's built in so you can do full music production post work editing restoration CD and DVD mastering and creation all of that's all built into the one product so you never have to leave the product and it's all based around a thing called object based editing which no other program does wow. and we've been doing it since the 90s so well, Brendan has done a lot with uh, audio and music in the broadcast space. Brendan, you, do you have some? I think you have a couple questions. Well, you know, I'm a Pro Tools guy, but I am definitely interested in the. What was the last thing you said? Object based. Object based editing. Can you describe that? Sure. So, think of if you have a clip on your uh, on your range window. We call it a VIP window, virtual project, and when that clip plays the sound leaves the track and goes into your mixer. That's how it works in normal workstation. Sure. Pro Tools uh, a year or two ago added clip gain where you can change the volume of that one little clip mm -hmm. and it will render a new file and it will be the clip. So they did that two years ago. Um, Object-based editing is if you took that and completely blew it up into the real world of mm -hmm. what you could ever imagine it being. It runs in real time and every single clip, or as we call it, an object, every object on your range window, when you double click on it, the object editor opens, which runs in real time, non-destructively, and you can add plugins to it that run real time and only use up C CPU power when that plugin is being run, when that clip is being run. Wow. Um, of course, volume has a built-in EQ, a six-band EQ that will run up, up sample or linear phase, panning and stereo resources, all of your pitch and time resources, Melodyne style uh, pitch automation lives on the object in real time, so you never have to export it, freeze it, bring it back in. That is incredible. It just, yeah, it goes on and on. And once you start working like that, you realize the power of it. You can't use anything else. So in this case, say that you're, uh, say that you have a, a vocal track that doesn't match up, uh, you need to do some fixes to it. You can fix it in the object editor and then have it play back through the mixer and use the mixer strictly as mixing. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to fix stuff in the mixer, you're fixing it at the object level before it even leaves the track. It's exceedingly powerful, and I can't imagine working a different way. That's amazing. Again, real time. So six months later, if you want to change a vocal note that you had already pitch automated a while ago, you double-click on the object and you just change the little bit of pitch to the next thing it almost it reminds me of photoshop in a way yeah it'll be photoshop where you have you can just add layers and layers and layers and then strip them away and yep. seamlessly and painlessly that and if your object object editor becomes too full of plugins and resource heavy stuff you can click the freeze button and it will freeze it it will render it to a 32-bit float file which is full quality which sits there instead and re and all of your resources are free and that frozen object if you double click on it object editor for that frozen one and you can keep going and you can wow. unfreeze and go back 
It's just... Well, the applications for that for broadcast and film and TV are obvious. Yeah. Um, you can mix an entire movie, major motion picture, in five or six tracks. Does it have uh, visual capabilities as well? Movies, yes. Like run a movie file? Yep. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, so everything that you'd expect it to do for video, um, having a video channel and stuff, is all done in uh, Sampletude. When you get into Sequoia, which is the broadcast version, you can actually record video edit video, um, basic editing, um, mm -hmm. as well as, of course, rendering it off, replacing the audio, all of that type of stuff. So another question that I have as far as, you know, talking about difficulties in the United States or, or not people just not knowing about it mm -hmm. is uh, as far as music production is concerned, the, the way the, the, the lines are sort of fictitiously drawn in the sand is that, mm -hmm. you know, Pro Tools is audio right. and Logic is kind of composer composer friendly midi friendly yeah. and and ableton is is dj and midi friendly mm -hmm. and uh i know for a fact that pro tools has has kind of come up in the world of midi but their street their street rep is like right. oh yeah you do all my midi and logic or whatever so how is how is midi implementation as well as like you know popular music dj music impl Im implementation into sequoia sure. so back in 2002 I was a Logic user. I'm a Windows user. So sure. uh, everything was cruising along fine. Windows 5. Point, or uh, Logic for Windows 5.0, 5.5 at that point had come out. We had just paid for that upgrade. And then uh, July 3rd, Monday, 2002, never forget it, Apple came in and bought Logic and gave all of us Windows users the wave bye-bye. Yeah. And uh, um, <laughs> offered us a $100 coupon on a $2,500 cinema display as a concession. Or oh, as that's, a, that's lovely. Yeah, it was wonderful. <laughs> and at that point, I started looking for another program, and I went through Sonar and everyone else and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, the same year that this was happening, in January, an agreement was signed with eMagix, who owned Logic, uh, with Magix AG, which is SampleTube, to help each other out. And Logic was going to get the audio engine, which is so highly regarded in Sampletude. It's the number one mastering program worldwide because of the sound engine is just stunning. So they were going to get help with their sound engine because Logic's at the time was lacking badly. Sure. And we didn't even have any MIDI. And so for six months, we worked on the MIDI, taking their MIDI engine and implementing it into Sampletude. We were not even to the point where we started helping them with audio when Apple came in. Apple came in and tore up the contract. And wow. so we walked away with the MIDI engine from Logic, and they walked away with nothing, and we have full-scale uh, MIDI capabilities with VSTIs and everything. And <laughs> and uh, so we have VST2, VST3 support. Uh, we come with independent Yellow Tools, Independence Pro Sampler is included and built in with a 70-gig library. Nice. Uh, comes with the program, so it's exceedingly deep MIDI-wise. So another... You know, when when you had mentioned the BBC and all these instances, mm -hmm. the price tag you mentioned was was, was enough to, was enough to scare away yeah. the the uh, I would say the burgeoning music creator. Correct. The price for Sampletude, which is strictly the music production version, uh -huh. doesn't have the broadcast stuff, uh, is four ninety nine. Okay. That and, sounds and that sounds more about. And it's right. not four ninety nine, and you have to pay for all these extras. The only extra at four ninety nine is the cleaning and restoration suite. And the cleaning and restoration suite is uh, 199 extra, which is almost a thousand dollars less than the isotope suite to sure. add to it. But the everything's included. We have a version called called Pro X Suites, which there are no extras to buy, and that retails for 9.99. But most people just get Sample Two Pro X for 4.99, and they're off and running. That sounds cool, Tim. We've got about a minute left. Mm -hmm. Tell us what would you like to deliver, what message would you like to deliver to the people attending NAM and the people listening? Try everything and don't get caught up on equipment. Make music. It's about the, it's about the art, period. Period. It's about the art. Go make music. I love equipment. Everyone loves equipment. It's all fun. But once it becomes a subs the fo main focus of your thing, you're off track. Awesome. It's got to be the music. And try the Magic software out because it is amazing. Yes, there's a free trial at the website, sample2.com. Very, very good. And uh, I want to give a shout-out to Amanda because you did uh, Amanda's project. Hopefully she gets a chance to listen. <laughs> a good friend of both of ours. So, Well, folks, you know, this has been a tremendous NAM show. Uh, we'll be signing out for this NAM show. We're going to go out and play with some toys, right, Paul? Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Oh, Changing yeah. Stage Radio Show, Florentino Buenaventura. Brendan McCreary. Got it. Young, Beautiful, and Hurry. I got it right that time. There you go. Tim Dolbear from Magix. Thank you, SIR and Pitbull Audio. And we are powered by the mighty WSRadio.com. Talk to you later. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. Serious gear for serious players from leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, Ernie Ball, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can make it happen. PitbullAudio.com. The action starts here. PitbullAudio.com. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. When you think of the ultimate shipping solution for your business, you should think Indicia. That's E-N-D-I-C-I-A. Indicia. That's all you have to say. And it's a lot easier than saying this. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put this butter in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. Hmm. Yes, I think I'd rather say Indicia. And you should say Indicia, too, when you want smart, efficient e-commerce shipping software. Visit Indicia.com slash radio. That's E-N-D-I-C-I-A dot com slash radio. Do you want to see Ella Bay in person? Do you want to meet Stephanie Sierra and Ariel in person? Well, we're coming to your city. All you have to do is go to wedemand.com slash elevate. You heard me. wedemand.com slash elevate. You love their music? They put on a great show. It's time to invite them into your domain. wedemand.com slash elevate is all you have to do. I'm out. This is KW Reed, baby, baby, baby. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to VinVillage Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. 